Three-step drop and a fade from Joel Quick. He's got him at the 15 to 10, the five. Touchdown, Ockery to Quick. Nice job, Murray! And this year's Central Division NCAA Regional Champion from Bethel, Daniel Greeno. I, I don't think this is fourth grade girls basketball. No, it's not. It's Royal Recap, and I'm Sports Information Director Dale Eng, bringing you highlights from the last week of Bethel University Athletics. Bethel's football season came to an end last Saturday against Augsburg, and the Royals finished up in winning fashion by defeating the Augies 44-6. Augsburg put six points on the scoreboard early in the first quarter, but after that, it was all Bethel the rest of the way. The Royals tied the game at six with five minutes left in the first quarter on a four-yard touchdown pass from Josh Ockrey to Logan Flannery. Then at the beginning of the second quarter, the Royals were forced to punt on fourth down, but Kevin Ness's kick was fumbled, and Alex Wright recovered to give Bethel great field position at the Augsburg 43-yard line. From that point, the Royals needed just five plays to get the ball into the end zone. Ockrey gained 21 of his 69 rushing yards on this play, and that helped set up the first of Dusty Wall's two touchdowns. Wall punched the ball in from one yard out to give Bethel a 13-6 lead. After a three-and-out series by the Augies, Bethel got the ball back and proceeded to march 62 yards in just six plays, capped off by Logan Flannery's second touchdown of the game, as he dodged and spun his way into the end zone to make the score 20-6 at the half. Flannery had 120 yards on 13 carries, taking him over the 1,000-yard mark for the third year in a row. It's a good, it's a good accomplishment every year, you know. I mean, but you have to give it up to our offensive line. They do a great job, and I think they get undercredited. And I mean, they're kind of behind the scenes and not, um, not noticed and not recognized enough. But you know, they do a great job, and I want to give it up to them every year. And it's a great accomplishment as a running back. In the second half, Bethel wasted no time in scoring another touchdown. Ockery went to the air to find Joel Quick for a 34-yard touchdown pass on just the second play from scrimmage after the kickoff. On Bethel's next drive, Ockery again found Quick, this time throwing a 69-yard bomb to the senior wide receiver, who scampered into the end zone to put Bethel up by 26 points. Quick made four catches on the day for 159 yards and two touchdowns, giving him 930 yards and 10 touchdowns on the season. We really didn't change anything. We, we were just going to keep running our stuff. We knew, we knew that we could beat them with our stuff and we thought we had a very good game plan we we're going to stick to it. On Augsburg's next drive, Bethel's defense got a chance to shine making four consecutive stops inside the three-yard line forcing the Augies to turn the ball over on downs. Bethel then needed just eight plays to go 99 yards and score again. Joel Quick's 25-yard reception to the three-yard line helped Dusty Wall get his second touchdown of the game on the very next play. Tackle touchdown. With the score now 38 to 6, the Augies changed quarterbacks, but he quickly found out about Bethel's tenacious defense as Trent Pearson forced a fumble that Joey Hoffmeyer picked up and ran into the end zone for Bethel's final touchdown of the game. Bethel finished the season with a 7-3 record overall and 6-2 conference record. Guys played well. Joey Hoffmeyer scores a touchdown on his last collegiate play. You know, he's a DN, and so it was, it was very cool and quick played well. I thought their offense really clicked. And, defensively after the after the start uh, it, you know a good year and uh, and uh, good stuff we got a lot of great stuff to come but right now I'm uh, I'm like mourning with a full heart moving on to cross country both the men's and women's teams were down in Grinnell Iowa last weekend for the NCAA regional meet Marie Borner won the women's race with a time of 21 15 and Heather Jellen came in 15th place overall with a time of 22 36 both runners will now advance to the national meet on November 21st in Ohio Dan Greeno will be the men's cross-country representative at the national meet as he, too, took first place individually. Greeno's time of 24.49 was nearly 10 seconds better than his nearest competitor and was almost 47 seconds faster than his time at the same meet a year ago. As a team, the men finished 10th out of 25 teams, while the women finished 8th out of 26. In hockey last weekend, the men faced off against St. John's on Friday night at Bethel University Arena in Blaine. Chris Fiala put Bethel up 1-0 with his fourth goal of the season with five minutes left in the first period. The Johnnies came back to tie the game midway through the second period, but then Jake Kaleja scored to put Bethel back on top. St. John's tied the game again with just over a minute left in the second, but then five minutes into the third period, Kyle Dynan lit the lamp with a slap shot by the help of Corey Grandner off the faceoff to make the score 3-2. Jake Kaleja then added his second goal of the game to put Bethel up for good at 4-2, the Johnnies were pesky and trimmed the Bethel lead to one halfway through the third period. 
Jack Paul added the insurance goal the Royals needed with this empty netter, and the Royals won 5-3. The Royals are now 2-4 overall, but more importantly, are 2-0 in the Mayak. They will face off against Gustavus this weekend. Finally, in women's hockey, the Royals took on Lindenwood University in an exhibition game on Friday night. Bethel scored four times before the Lions were able to answer. Kate Walleen put Bethel on top 1-0 with a goal halfway through the first period, followed by a power play goal by Paige Lemieux at the 16-34 mark. Molly Eagles joined the scoring with a goal in the second period, assisted by Biz Huss, who had two assists in the game. Stephanie Van Gilder scored just two minutes after Eagles to give the Royals all they would need. The Lions came roaring back with a pair of goals, but Biz Huss scored a goal of her own with less than three minutes remaining in the second period for an insurance goal, and the Royals went on to win 5-3. Unfortunately, Bethel was handed a 5-1 loss the following afternoon against nationally ranked UW River Falls. That's it for this week's edition of Royal Recap. Next week, be sure to join me as I'll have men's basketball highlights, as well as cross-country and more men's and women's hockey highlights. And as always, for more stats, stories, and schedules, check out athletics.bethel.edu. Thanks for watching. I'm Sports Information Director Dale Eng.